measuring liquidity. So we've already spoken about how to measure profitability, where we looked at the gross profit margin, the operating profit margin. We looked at the return on capital employed and the net asset. So let's look at what liquidity means. So this is the ability of a business to settle its short-term debt when they fold you, especially within a period of 12 months. So when we talk about short-term debt, they are bills that are outstanding by the time the business wraps up its activity for the year. So you look at the balance sheet, the current liability section, anything that is found there is termed as a short-term debt. So normally you are able to settle your short-term debt basically with your short-term resources. So let's look at measures that can help us assess the liquidity of a business. We will look at the current ratio, otherwise known as the working capital ratio. Then we look at the quick ratio or the asset test ratio. Let's come to the current ratio. It juxtaposes the current resources, that is the assets that are supposed to be turned into cash within a period of 12 months and how it stands in settling the liabilities that are supposed to be settled within a period of 12 months. In other words, you're looking at the weight of a business's current assets over its current liability. So this is normally expressed as the current assets placed side by side with the current liability. So the benchmark is to have the current assets higher than the current liability which means that the business is in a better position to settle its current liabilities when they fold you within a year. Okay, So if you place the ratio of the current assets and the current liability and it is more than one, it means that the business is in a better position to offset its current liabilities. If it is equal to one, it means that the business has just enough resources to set off its debt. If it is less than one, that is a very dangerous position for a business to be in, which means that the business might fall on other resources, especially the capital, to settle its current liabilities. Okay, So if the current liability is below one, then it probably means that the business is incurring certain expenditures that is higher than it should be able to settle. For example, a business is operating from a rental property which is costing $100 per month. Meanwhile, per the business's operation, it will be able to settle anything less than $50. So it means that the business is building up higher liabilities than what its operations can carry. Okay. So when we talk about current assets, we're looking at inventory. Now these are items that the business trades in to generate revenue. So a garage has cars as its inventory. A stationery shop has books, pens, erasers, pencils as its stationery. The core products that the business trades to generate revenue. Receivables. These are customers that the business sells to, but then they pay at a later period. Then you have prepayment. These are expenses that the business pays before it uses. So if a business pays the rent for 2025 now, the business hasn't been in a position to pay for the rent, but it has paid for it ahead. So it is an asset because now the landlord owes them. You can also have short-term investment. Now, these are investments that will mature within a period of 12 months. Then you can have cash and bank. Current liabilities, on the other hand, can be payables. These are suppliers that the business is yet to pay off. You can also have short-term loans that are debts that the business has incurred, but they are expected to pay within 12 months. You have overdraft. It's facility that the business falls on with a short period 
to run its operation. Then you have accruals. That is expenses that a business should have paid by now, but has not yet settled. For example, salaries for December 2023, but we are in June 2024 as yet to be paid off. The other ratio that we'll talk about is the asset test ratio, also known as the quick ratio. We are looking at the resources that are more likely to be converted into cash to pay for the debt. It is not all assets that can readily be generated or that can readily be converted into cash to pay off the debt. Here is the same formula, but now we will be considering resources that can be converted into cash within the 12-month period with the exception of inventory because inventory is deemed to be less liquid. If you have inventory in your warehouse or in your business, it is a property of the business. But then it cannot be turned into cash easily because nobody has the obligation to come take the inventory from you and give you cash. You, the business, have to convince other people or market it to the appetite of other people to come in and take the inventory. If they decide not to buy, the inventory will be sitting in your warehouse and it is less likely for your suppliers to come for the goods in settlement of your debt. But if you talk about the other current assets, receivables are resources that you have right to claim money for. You can resort to the law court in order to retrieve your money from your customers if they are proving adamant. There are businesses that will take on the receivables and then chase them for collection or they will even buy it from you. If you talk about short-term investment, treasury bills and bond, they are cash equivalent. You can recoup them and get the money easily because there's a legal backing. So the receivables, prepayments, short-term investments and cash against the current liabilities that we spoke about, which is payables, short-term loans, overdraft and then accruals. If the ratio is more than one or if you juxtapose it and you get to one is to one, then it means that the business is highly likely or has enough resources to convert into cash within the shortest possible time to settle its debt. If it is more than one, that is two is to one or 1.1 is to one, 1.5 is to one. That is a healthy position for a business to be in. So if you calculate a business's current ratio and it is higher than one, let's say two is to one, but the majority of the current assets is situated in inventory, then it means that the business is not let off the hook. It's not in a safer position because in as much as it has enough resources to pay its debt, it will have a bit of a difficulty trying to convert it into cash to settle it. But if most of the, the current assets in the current ratio scenario sit in other areas apart from inventory, especially in cash and cash equivalent, let's say short-term investment, then that is a very good position for the business to be in. Now, if the quick ratio is less than one, then the current liabilities will have to be critically analyzed and look at some of the debts that have to be restructured. So if you're incurring a debt that is not crucial or underlying the operations of the business, then it has to be restructured. Or if a less expensive item can be substituted for that, which will not affect the quality or the outcome of the business's operation, then that can be looked at in order to salvage the situation. Let's test our understanding. Because current assets and quick ratios are sourced from the balance sheet, we look at the balance sheet. So we have no current asset of 300,000. We have current asset totally 160,000 with inventory, receivables, and cash balance. We have the share capital 150, reserves of 85,000, on current liabilities of 130,000, 
current liabilities totaling 95,000. So if you're supposed to work out the current ratio or the working capital ratio, the formula again is current assets by current liability. The current asset is $160,000, which is the sum of the inventory of 55,000, receivables of 40,000, and cash and bank of 65,000. And the current liabilities is $95,000, which is the sum of payables of 70,000 and accruals of $25,000. So if you break it down, you're going to get 1.68 to 1. It means that for every $1 of current liabilities, there is a current asset that can pay for it in excess of $0.68. Also, you can explain it in such a way that the current asset available can pay for the current liabilities 1.68 times. When we come to the quick ratio, the formula is current assets less inventory being matched with current liabilities. The current asset less inventory will give you 105,000, which is the receivables of 40,000 and the cash and bank of 65,000. Then the current liability stays constant of 95,000, which is the payables and the accruals. So the ratio is going to be 1.1 to one. It also means that there is enough more liquid assets to settle the current liabilities. So the current ratio of 1.68 to 1 meant that more of the current assets is found in areas other than inventory. So if you look at the balance sheet, if you combine the receivables and the cash and bank, it is more than the value of the inventory so the business is more liquid okay